Do you know which is the best sorting algorithm? Each sorting algorithm has its own advantages and disadvantages. So in this video, we will discuss which sorting algorithm will be best based on some scenarios. First, we will check if data is too big to fit in a RAM or not. If data is not fitting in a RAM, then we will select merge sort as our algorithm because merge sort will split the big data into smaller part and then sort it. But if data fits in a RAM, then we will check if swapping of element takes time or not means if swapping is expensive or not. In many cases, object of a class holds a large amount of data. So swapping their position takes a time. So in such cases, we will go with the selection sort because selection sort requires minimum number of swaps. If swaps are not expensive, then we will check if data is mostly sorted or not. If data is mostly sorted, then we will go with the insertion sort because to add elements into sorted array, insertion sort only takes big of n time complexity. If data is not sorted, then we will check if we can use the extra space or not. If we cannot use the extra space then we will go with the quick sort because it has the constant space complexity and in 90% of cases time complexity is big of n log n but if we can use the extra space then we will check if we need a stable sorting algorithm or not if you need a stable sorting algorithm then we will select merge sort which has n log n time complexity and big of n space complexity but if we don't need a stable algorithm then we will go with the quick sort let me know in the comment section if you want me to create separate video on this sorting algorithm follow my channel for more such videos.